Good eye. Angie Mahara here. Just want to do a um, quick video response to a comment I saw on the channel earlier. I'm just in between clients right now today. And the comment was, when do people with BPD ever stop hoovering because it's been six months already? Can anybody answer when do these people stop hoovering? It's been six months already. And who knows how many times per month, you know, the hoovers over a six month period of time have been. But here's the thing. So many people, how are you getting hoovered is my first question. And to the commenter, that would be my first question. That I think I wrote a, a, a comment below to say, have you gone full no contact? Because many people haven't. Many people still find that very difficult. That can be a challenge that I know I work with a lot of clients that when we start to work, when they come to work with me, if, and, and I'm out here to work with you if you resonate with me, that they haven't really gone full no contact. They are not out of that limbo of no man's land of, you know, yes, it's a breakup or I got ghosted or, you know, you're, you're, so, so it's a BPD relationship breakup, but like, it's not really. It's somewhere in that limbo between really a breakup and you're really going to start to try to, you know, get into the second stage of, you know, the survive, beca becoming a survivor of the BPD relationship breakup by going to therapy, by being full no contact, by taking care of yourself. And so a lot of people in that limbo place between breakup, ghosting, getting hoovered, um, leaving avenues of... Oh, leaving avenues of Hoover open. So you need to ask yourself today, if you're next to somebody with BPD or on again, off again, or you're not sure if it's really over or it's just a cycle that's ongoing, uh, they ghost and they come back and they Hoover. So, you know, what, what, what are you doing? And, and what I mean by that is what is your intention and are you aware are you feeling two things at the same time? One that you're more aware of, like, could you be more bothered? Like this commenter seemed to be, could you be more bothered by Hoover at, at a given point in time? And, but like also be still invested in, you want them back and you want the person they were back and you might want to try again. Because if somebody's Hoovering you for six months, they must have an avenue to do it with, right? Which means somebody hasn't gone full, no contact. And a lot of people I work with as clients are in needing help and guidance and strategy and support to actually get the, the full no contact done because it's very difficult for people with codependency and because you might really be having two contradictory and cognitive dissonance, emotional dissonance feelings at once. It's, it's like it's, it's off or it's off and on, but like I not, I really want to try again. And so in that way, people invite Hoovers. Not all people with BPD Hoover. Women with BPD and men with BPD can Hoover. And the point is, have you gone full no contact? Do you know what your full intent is? Or are you still really emotionally confused and otherwise maybe confused? And are you still sort of like really in that place where you could easily go back as many, many people do? It's not always a straight line from the BPD relationship breakup to having to deal with it and whatever, because either you reverse Hoover, some people, exes will reverse Hoover, and or a lot of people with BPD will Hoover. And some, not all, do Hoover, but some that Hoover can't stop Hoovering. And then more to the point, why do you expect they would stop Hoovering if you keep letting yourself be Hoovered? So have you gone full no contact? Are you really done? Do you still want them back? Because many people, even when they know that the relationship can't work <clears throat> and they're moving into the next phase, they really still have a lot of feelings of wanting the person back. But it's like, do you have, have you set an intention that even with those feelings, you know you don't want to go there or not? So that's what people have to think about. And the way I read the comment, I'm, you know, I'm adding the intonation to it, but it really sounds like the person is distressed, right? Like, can anybody tell me when these people with BPD ever stop hoovering? It's been six months. And yet, I don't know. And I hope the commenter will, you know, reply to my comment, at least on the channel.
Well, my first question was like, are you full no contact? Because how are they hoovering you? So you see what I'm saying? Like this could be in your subconscious. It could be that consciously you're fed up, you're exhausted. You don't know what's going on. It's over. Maybe you got ghosted. Maybe you broke up with them, but it's still also compelling. And you're in that limbo, sort of no man's land place between the breakup and the next steps. And then some people just go back, go back, go back. And I'm going to have a video coming on that, if not later today. Well, probably like, well, in a day or two, let me just put it that way. And so the thing is, what you need to know about when you're still being hoovered is there's an avenue they're hoovering you through. Why haven't you blocked it? So what might that mean for you to be brutally honest with yourself about, you know, if I, I'm out here to help you, if I resonate with you, book a session with me or if, if you have someone else you want to work with get into therapy and 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 work on this and, and and like really look at it in a brutal honest way because for so many people that think they're ready to move on they're not and there's so many people that are going to go back and try again and go back and try again that this is exes of those with bpd right people with codependency and then there's a lot of people with bpd well yeah they want to come back they want to come back yeah, a lot of exes and codependents want to go back. And so a lot of people are in that no man's eye in limbo, like I said. And are you one of them? And do you know that? Are you aware of that? Or are you just feeling one way and thinking another way and you're not sure? But if you haven't gone full no contact yet, then ask yourself why today. And realize that that's probably the first sign that you're not finished. That you're in a slippery slope, risky place of getting hoovered back or reverse hoovering, coming back together with the X to go around the same cycle again. Trust me on that one because they need therapy and so do people with codependency and you need to heal each of you in your own ways. And if you're going to cycle back around, you're being hoovered, you're, you've left an avenue open to be hoovered. And another thing I just want to say too is and and I and I hear this a lot from clients and people and you know the comments and live streams. Well, you know, but they keep emailing me. Well, you know, you can change your email, and you can set aside an email for a while if you don't want to get rid of it. You can change your email because you know I, I've been talking to some clients in the recent past, and I won't say when, but who? Yeah, it's come down to that's how they're still being hoovered. But you can block that too. You can change that. No, blocking and having it go to your spam folder isn't effective because you're still getting contacted. And then people have to sit there and like, can you hit the delete button or do you read the message? But there's another way around that. It's called get a new account because so many people at BP are going to keep changing their email. You block it to send it to the filter, whatever. And then they're still going to be emailing you. So you see, sometimes you have to do more and take more responsibility but you need to get no contact and stay no contact or you're not going to move forward in your healing and recovery. That, that's the case for most people. So if you, if you like to comment or are wondering, when does the borderline ever stop hoovering because it's been six months, eight months, a year, two years, three years. Some people are getting hoovers intermittently after like four or five years. But because there's an avenue open. And, and not everybody that has avenues or an avenue open to be hoovered is as stuck in that limbo place as many people are. So you have to ask yourself that question today. Are you still in that limbo place? Are you still really susceptible? And the answer for lots of people new to this or just like it hasn't been that long, it's been months or, or even under a year, yeah, you might have a lot of feelings still that you're in that limbo place with the feelings but, you, but many people also know that they're not going to go back. That the feelings are, you know, harder to resolve and take longer. But there's a lot of people who are in that risky no man's land of, they're just like an inch away from acting on their feelings. And when I'm working with clients, I've had clients over the years that absolutely this comes up in the process. Some people contact me just to get help and how to get back with the ex. And yeah, I'm out here to help you with that too. Why? Well, it might seem counterintuitive and it might seem unethical, but it's not. If that some people have to do what they have to do to learn the lessons they need to learn. 
and it's not going to work out, okay, in the vast majority, like 99.9% .9 of cases, but I will help people get there if that's what they need to do to experience it again, to be able to then get moving forward. And, but the thing is, so if you can't go full no contact and I resonate with you, then book a session with me and let's talk about it. Let's help you strategize. Let's get to the bottom of where you really are emotionally. And are you really in this high risk to go back category, high risk to keep recycling category or not? But not going full no contact and wondering why, you know, the BPD Hoovers aren't stopping is, you know, hey, you know, get some responsibility there. And I just wanted to say that this happens with both males with BPD and females with BPD, that these Hoovers can be sort of like rather in a smaller percentage of people with BPD endless. If you allow them to be, remember that part, you have responsibility in this. Um, for for the choices you make and if you shut them down or not in terms of Hoover ability. And so aside from that, um, and then there are people with BP that don't Hoover at all, okay? So but people are conflicted. People are in cognitive dissonance. People are still uh, pining for the person with BPD. People are in the unhealthy bonded, you know, bondedness in nature of that. People are um, struggling with withdrawal from people with BPD in many different ways. And that is uh, the chemical soup factor. And sometimes it's got more to do with a certain aspect and more predominantly for men. But what, are, and no judgment, you know. But if you want to know when the BPD is ever going to stop hoovering you, there's a good chance that you, you've left an avenue open or more. And a part of you wants the Hoovers. Part of you might be really legitimately distressed by them, but another part of you wants them. And that's that limbo, no man's land, slippery slope to danger. And to certainly not being able to get on the road to healing and recovery. So if, if you can relate to what the commenter said, the first thing you have to look at is what are you really doing and are you in that limbo, no man's land? where you could go either way and you're not really sure what you want yet and that's a slippery slope because if you go around again you're only going to get hurt and spit out again and you're going to be back at ground zero of where you might be sitting right now so are you full no contact and if you're not what does that mean for you be brutally honest with yourself and look at that because it likely means you still want them back and you're not done so hope that was helpful. Take care.